every number is attached with a certain vibrational energy that affects some people depending on their energy in a positive or a negative manner. I'll start with this one. Eight is the number of money. Okay. Uh, eight is the number of karma. Eight is the number of power. So I'll give you an example. The Chinese, they know eight is the number of money. That's why they started their Olympic Games on August 8th. 2008 at exactly 8.08 p.m. So if you add up the date, 8 plus 8 plus 2608 uh, adds up to 26, 2 and 6 is 8. So they started their Olympic Games under all eight energy. Within two years, they went from the fifth biggest economy in the world to the second. Now, you're going to notice all over Twitter, people are starting to price their products not for $79.99, but for 80, for 62, because 6 and 2 is 8. For 53, because 5 and 3 is 8. That's a movement I start with my own influence because when you price products in 8s, that's going to attract money. So what you guys need to do is start selling your shirts, start selling all your advertising for stuff that adds up in 8s, whether it be 35, because 3 and 5 is 8, or 80. That's what? how you do it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it works. Okay, so I'm selling my T-shirts right $80. now for 20 bucks. How much do you think what? I should sell them for? 26 26 26 you got to move get guess what i know it's more expensive than you think i'm lose sales Can but we... the, the number actually attracts money and i've given thousands of clients readings with the same advice and i've gotten nothing but positive reviews look at all these clowns on twitter who attack me say i'm a fraud yet they're using the same system i put out there can you do 17 yeah of course one in seven is eight right yeah i mean there, so, there you so go. Like going, for instance, yes, with twenty six or seventeen. Yeah. That's the closest. <laughs> yeah. I gotta think about yeah. that, dude. But I'm gonna try it, dude. I'm gonna try yeah. it. Yesterday was the eighth. Okay. Yeah. So whenever it's the eighth, I gamble heavy. So I hit the casino yesterday for one hundred seventy thousand on parlays. Oh my I, and, god! And I'm not dude. a fraud because I posted the freaking tickets on Twitter because you know that fraud word does go around a lot. So once you post those tickets, people shut up. Okay, I'm, make those. I want to get more into the numbers, but I want to know more about you, Gary. It's like, so this, so nine eleven's the first time you started number n noticing numbers, yeah. or was it nothing yeah. when you were a kid? It's just you're like, whoa, bam, 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 and then, so where do you go from there? Like, where do you go? Like, okay, the, the uh, hit at eleven, the flights eleven, the the buildings look like eleven. Where w where's this Sid Hartha numerology journey that you go on to find the true meaning of these numbers? Well, the next next step was after nine eleven happened. Afghanistan happened. Afghanistan has eleven letters. Afghanistan was attacked uh, 10 seven two thousand one. Take out the zeros one seven two one adds up to an eleven again. Oh my so God! I really? Ah, I'm telling you, this, this stuff goes deep, bro. Uh, 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 for instance, remember Hurricane Katrina? That happened on the 29th. Two and nine is 11. Oh. Most of the uh, worst hurricanes, most of uh, the biggest stock market crashes always happen around the 29th. Uh, I believe it was August, uh, no, wait a second, October 29th, um, 2029, excuse me, 1929, the stock market crashed again on the 29th. So it doesn't matter if it's financial, it doesn't matter if it's sports oriented or a world event, big events happen under master numbers, and master numbers in numerology consist of 11, 22, and 33. Oh, my God. Johnny, you're a skeptic. What do you think? I believe all this stuff. I love this stuff. I want to study this. I think, I, yeah, it's fascinating, for sure. I, I would, if, I was, if I was you, I would take a few of the shirts and price them that way and then leave the others as they are and see if it helps. All right, I'm not against that. Help, I'm not against that. Like that. You know I'm the, not against that. You know the For movie, sure, uh, the movie number twenty three. Yeah, was that made by Hollywood to make people that enter numerology look fucking crazy? One hundred percent. That was a hit on me. As a matter of fact, why don't you uh, put in on uh, um, on YouTube ESPN the number twenty two and ESPN did a hit piece on me. Uh, they won't say my name, but it was about me. They're you know trying to make me look like some freaking fool. Hold on, cool. are you are you talking about that Chicago that Chicago's number video? Were they no no the, the one about Cleveland? Oh uh, yeah yeah I'm, yeah I'm, yeah yeah. That's a hit piece on me. Why because, do you think um, that's I'm, on you, dude? That's so crazy. Why I love that video. You didn't like it? 
well, first of all, they made me seem like some uh, crazy living in the basement, you know, not knowing what the hell, because I was the first one who reported LeBron James would sign with the Lakers because I got students in the NBA who leak information to me. So after that happened, uh, they wanted to get back at me. So it is what it is. Um, listen, it, let me give you another one more example when it comes to financial numerology. While eight is the number of money, 28 is the number of wealth. So why don't you guys put up, pull up an ad for Rolex and you're going to see all they do is they price it, it, all the dates that they have their advertising in that little clock. They're going to show the 28 right by it or the fact that the richest people in the world like Bill Gates, uh, Carlos Salim are born on the 28th. I'm born the on the 28th, that, Johnny. I'm rich. Nice job. Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't necessarily mean you're rich, but what it does mean is. Whenever you need money, somehow, some way, it comes to you, and you probably thought it was dumb luck your whole life. What about the 18th? Is that anything? No. Uh, 18th means you have a very adaptive personality. You can pretty much go with the flow. You know, yeah, things of that. Like Johnny. Johnny. Doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you just don't know you yet. Don't the numbers know? You don't know you. I would rather have the money birthday if I'm being honest. Well, change you, dude. You do. Hey, that's good time, brother. Remember. Um, you know, just a few more examples. I want to give you one. Steve Jobs was born 2 1955 adds up to 28. He founded Apple on uh, April 1st, 1976, which adds up to 28. And he incorporated Apple January 3rd, 1977, which adds up to 28. Apple is the richest cash rich company in the world. Why? Because they're funded under 28 energy. This stuff works. God dang, dude. What's your birthday day? February first. First, what's that? is there anything with number one? Yeah, but when people born on the first like to argue a lot. Yeah, that's, that's you. Know, yeah. They, 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 Do they, they get weird haircuts? They have, learn, <laughs> they have to learn things the hard way. That's you know they oh you know stubborn people have to learn things stubborn. the hard way. So let me ask you something, dude. The big reason why I kind of uh, I saw your I, I don't know if it was Nick Hinton retweeted you, but I saw a tweet you put out about the number. 33 what's that about because you blew my mind with that i'm like oh my god oh you got it on i oh, i thought shit. maybe you were a larry bird fan or something like that my favorite player um, of all time is 33 patrick ewing yes sir um when it comes down to the number 33 33 is known as the master teacher the the one like for instance jesus died at 33 well the number is more important than the man um 33 is associated with influence uh, whether it's from behind the scenes or not. And when you look at the number 33, what you basically have to understand about it is the 33s are here to teach. I'm basically a teacher. That's what I do. I'm a well-paid teacher because I found my own way. But um, as a 33 life path, you're basically a very old soul. You've been reincarnated quite a few times. So I'll give you some examples of 33s. Uh, Einstein was a 33. Um, you know, the the guy who invented the NBA was a 33 life path. You know, the, how many freaking games do you have where you can throw a ball through a hoop? But basketball is popular because a 33 life path invented the game. Um, one of the Wright brothers was a 33 life path, founded flight. Uh, I, I, Edison was a 33 life path, figured out electricity. So when it comes to 33s, they're the trailblazers in life. Well, they're I mean, the ones who basically figure things out that other people cannot well, the highest rank in Masons are 33. That, that, well, that's because uh, um, when water is below 33 uh, three degrees, it freezes. But once it goes above 33, it becomes a liquid form. So what they're basically trying to tell you by the Freemason order going up to 33 is after uh, you hit that 33 degree, you become enlightened. Wow. You st you're not frozen. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. 3311, are there any other amazing ones? I mean, every number represents something else. I'll Let's, give you, uh, I'll give you for, uh, one, I'll give there... you one example. Um, most athletes uh, tend to be ones or 11s. Uh, you know, they always say, well, what's uh, what, what does Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan have in common? Well, they're both 11 life paths. That's why they both have that killer instinct. But LeBron James never did because he's not an 11 life path. Um, you know, going back to LeBron. What James, does that mean by life path or life? Or... Uh, like, 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 for instance, LeBron James is born 12, 30, 1984. 
You add up all the numbers. One, two, three, zero, one, nine, eight, four, adds up to 28. Two and eight is 10. One and, uh, and zero is one. So you reduce it to single digits unless it uh, reduces down to an 11, 22, or 33, which are considered master numbers. Master numbers and the numbers one through nine, think of them as AM and FM radio on a completely different wavelength. So what you have to understand is um, every number has its positives and its negatives. Like, for instance, a lot of people who are one life pass have trouble with alcohol. A lot of people who were born on the 1st, 10th, 19th, 28th have trouble with alcohol. They yeah. probably, you know, they shouldn't drink too much. Uh, when it comes down to people who are born on the 1st, 10th, 19th, 28th, well, guess what? They're born leaders. One is the number of male energy. 